Welcome to tip number three, how to build drop downs in Flutter Flow. Now, if you are a UI UX designer or you're trying to build robust experiences, especially for desktop, having drop downs, right? Something like this um, that appears right on a list level, something that appears in a navigation level up top, profile, right? We can go over here. We have a cart here that has a, you know, we could actually go back to if we had the shopping experience, which we don't here, uh, but we could, we could have that. Um, you want drop downs. Drop downs are so powerful. They allow you to uh, have a, a bunch of nested options, right? That you don't want to display in a list view. You don't want to display in the details itself, right? So how do you accomplish this in Flutter Flow? We're going to dive into how that's possible. So the tool that we're going to use with the element that we're going to use in Flutter Flow, it's, it's twofold, right? You need a component that has a dropdown, right? That is designed like a dropdown. Now, the way that I do this, I literally just utilize the templates that Flutter Flow provides, and I will adapt them to my use case, right? We have notifications here. We have dropdowns for a status here. We have dropdowns for a task. Um, and what you're doing is, right, we have a container here. It does not have a height. It can, it can grow and shrink. And the containing column is set to minimum, right? If this was set to maximum, this would increase, and it would be a, a pretty bad user experience. You don't necessarily want this um, you want your component, right, your drop down to adjust to the size uh, of its content. So this is the first one, component. The second thing you're going to need is a action that is for a custom dialog. Now, the custom dialog is just the medium, okay? We're going to do a custom dialog, then we're going to select our user drop down component, and then we're going to set align with the target widget okay align with the target widget what this does is it says hey instead of making my custom dialogue appear in the center of the screen which is what will happen if you don't do this right it'll just appear in the center of the screen it will appear at the bottom of the screen um it will just appear wherever you have it designed if you have alignment set on that component it'll appear wherever you uh wherever that alignment is set so it's not necessarily the best user experience so toggle on a line with target widget, okay? This is gonna help save your life. This is gonna be amazing. So the dialogue alignment, this will be where you want the dialogue, not your action, right? Your, the dialogue to appear, okay? So this dialogue alignment, I want my dropdown to appear below, or sorry, I want my dialogue to be aligned top right, okay? I want my dialogue to appear right down here. So that's where I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my dialogue alignment here. And my target alignment, this is where it's going to be in relation to the button, okay? So where do I want, where does the dialogue appear in relation to the button, right? I want the drop down to appear here and I want the top of the dialogue to, to be here. I don't want the bottom of it. I don't want the bottom to appear here. I want the top to appear here and I want it to, I want it to be right below. So. That is what we see here, right? Dialogue align top, and it's coming to the bottom of this, okay? That is, that's how easy it is to create a custom drop-down menu in Flutterflow. Now you can create this for options, you can create this for menu items, you can create this for a cart, you can create this for notifications. There's a plethora of things you can do that will allow you to open up numerous opportunities. I think this align to target document or target element is absolutely amazing. It provides you the ability to do this on dynamic lists before you could not do this, right? And I love utilizing custom drop downs in my designs. I think it's one of the most beneficial user experiences you can provide in your Flutterflow applications. I hope this was helpful. I'll see you guys next time.